Elon Musk reveals a game-changing cobalt-free battery already in use. Tesla acknowledged that approximately half of all vehicles manufactured in the previous quarter used cobalt-free iron phosphate LFP, batteries. The information also provides an intriguing glimpse into Tesla's model mix, which is normally extremely opaque. Welcome to Tesla Today. Here, we talk about the latest news and the things Tesla is doing to transition the world to sustainable energy. If you are already subscribed, welcome back. If you are new here and like the content we put out, please subscribe and like our videos. It encourages us to make more. Before we get into the details, here's a timeline of Tesla's outsourced batteries. 2008 to 2012. Tesla Roadster built with commercial off-the-shelf cots, 18,650 cells. The engineers at Tesla Motors selected cells from reputable Fortune 500 battery suppliers. 2012 to 2017. Tesla Model S produced with 100% Panasonic batteries. 2015. Tesla Roadster 3.0 battery upgrade built with batteries sourced from LG Chem. 2016. Tesla begins purchasing large quantities of Samsung SDI 18650s for Tesla energy products. June 2017. Tesla slash Panasonic JV begins production of 2,170 cells at Giga Nevada. June 2020. Cattle LFP batteries used to produce Giga Shanghai Model 3. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, has stated several times in recent years that the company intends to transition more electric vehicles to LFP batteries in order to address nickel and cobalt supply difficulties. Iron phosphate LFP, batteries, which do not include nickel or cobalt, are historically less expensive and safer. Still, they have a lower energy density, resulting in poorer efficiency and a shorter range for electric cars. However, they have lately improved to the point where using cobalt-free batteries in lower-end and shorter-range cars makes sense. It also frees up the manufacture of battery cells with other, more energy-dense chemistries, allowing for the creation of additional long-range cars. Tesla has already switched to LFP cells in its standard range Model 3 and Model Y models manufactured in China. Tesla also declared last year that it is globally migrating to lithium iron phosphate battery chemistry for standard range cars. It revealed that Tesla intended to transition the Model 3 standard range, commonly known as the Model 3 rear-wheel drive, built in Fremont to LFP cells as well. With the publication of Tesla's Q1 2022 financial results, the company stated that approximately half of all vehicles manufactured currently use LFP batteries. Quote, Diversification of battery chemistries is critical for long-term capacity growth to better optimize our products for their various use cases and expand our supplier base. This is why nearly half of Tesla vehicles produced in Q1 were equipped with a lithium iron phosphate battery containing no nickel or cobalt. Currently, LFP batteries are used in most of our standard range of vehicle products, as well as commercial energy storage applications. As a result of our energy-efficient motors, a Model 3 with an LFP battery pack can still achieve a 267-mile EPA range. End of quote. This means that the Model 3 rear-wheel drive, the cheapest Tesla car, and the Model Y standard range exclusively available in China account for about half of Tesla's volume. Tesla's SVP of engineering was asked how soon Tesla could move to LFP chemistry. I'll take the LFP question. Like it says in our letter, half of our products were LFP last quarter, which shows how quickly we were able to respond. But honestly, it wasn't because of a raw material shortage. It just seemed like the right thing to do. We could change our cathode chemistry. And there's more to be done on the cathode side. We are actively pursuing it to give us substitution flexibility in response to market conditions between the other cathodes that are out there that can be competitive in our vehicle. There are many options, he stated. The technical official did not elaborate on the other choices, although Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently stated that the company is working on a new manganese-based cathode battery. Tesla employs prismatic cells for LFP because the chemistry is more stable and requires less thermal control. The prismatic form factor allows for more active material to be stuffed into an LFP pack due to the square shape and less space claimed for cooling channels. 
Because it's easier to have uniform temperature control with cylindrical cells, they're staying with them for the high-performance cells. Cobalt is being phased out in batteries by battery manufacturers such as Samsung and Panasonic, automobile manufacturers such as Tesla and Volkswagen, and several startups. Cobalt is one of the most costly elements used in lithium-ion batteries, which power everything from laptops to cell phones to electric vehicles. Cobalt has been a popular battery metal because it boosts battery life and energy density, which in the case of EV implies range, by keeping the battery structure stable as the battery is continually charged and drained. However, cobalt, which is typically extracted as a byproduct of nickel and copper mining, is one of the most costly components in a battery. While battery prices fell 89% between 2010 and 2020, they still account for around 30% of the entire cost of an electric car, according to Bloomberg NEF. Cobalt extraction is also heavily concentrated in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, where it's been linked to human rights abuse and child labor. Furthermore, with global EV sales set to surge, demand for basic battery elements such as cobalt is likely to surpass supply. When comparing demand and availability for cobalt, there is an adequate raw material in the Earth's crust, geologically speaking. It's the same with lithium, nickel, and manganese, says Sam Adam, a senior powertrain research analyst at LMC Automotive. It's just that, like all other materials, the manufacturing and processing of that material are nowhere near the level that it has to be to satisfy the level of demand. These are some of the reasons why battery manufacturers such as Samsung and Panasonic and automobile manufacturers like VW and several startups aim to eliminate the need for cobalt entirely, which Tesla has already taken the step. We expect EV pricing to reduce by as much as 50% once other automotive manufacturers catch on to this. Do you believe this will reduce the cost of electric vehicles? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. If you liked this video, hit the like button and send us your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.